been a while since I've seen all 15 of my loyal subscribers. I've been busy growing out my quarantine hair, among other things. Have you ever needed to drill a hole? Yeah, me too, bro. Like, all the time. But I'm not just talking any type of hole. I'm talking perfectly perpendicular, not even slanted, totally straight type of hole. You know what I mean? Let me ask you something. What do you use to drill holes right now? Well, if you're watching this video, I can probably answer that. Hand drill, right? See, here's the problem with hand drills. First of all, they're hard to keep steady when you're drilling into something. Sometimes you kind of wobble the drill a little bit and your hole becomes way bigger than your actual drill bit. That is no bueno. And even if you're holding this thing perfectly steady, the chances that you're holding it perfectly straight are not high. So unless you're a human drill press like me, I don't know about you, but I've drilled a lot of holes in my life, like a lot. But as much as I'd like to think I've mastered the art of drilling holes perfectly straight, I'm in desperate need of a drill press. But see, I didn't want to go out and buy one of those huge, heavy, expensive ones. In case you haven't noticed, my shop is like a closet. So today I'm going to show you guys how to build your own homemade drill press. I'm going to be using some parts that I had laying around from my desktop CNC, video on that coming soon. But with just a slight modification, you can use my design to work with your Dremel or your hand drill, whatever you already have. All right, so what you're gonna need is some aluminum. So this is a six by eight by three eighths inch sheet. This is a four by six by quarter inch sheet. Some L channel. This is eighth, eighth inch thick and one and a quarter inch wide on each side. A chuck conversion kit. Basically it's used for drills, nice chuck. A motor set, it's a 500 watt motor and power supply. Came with a mount. And then this is a, ZNC, a CNC Z-axis uh, that I tore apart off my old CNC. Instead of buying this, you probably already have a Dremel, so you can use your Dremel. And instead of this Z-axis, CNC Z-axis, if you don't want to get one of those, you can get some linear rails. These are MGN 12 rails. Probably one or two of these would do. And then you just 3D print yourself a mount to hold your Dremel. And that could serve in place of these things. So the other thing that's not shown here is... I'm gonna 3D print some parts to actually make the ball screw move so that you can move the drill press up or down. That's gonna come at the end of the video. And I'll put links to all these things as well as uh, an alternative rails and Dremel in the description. So now I'm gonna hit you with that bill montage. Let's send it.
Well, as usual, boys and girls, we got a problem mid-build. Here I have an ER11 quarter-inch collet fixed on my motor, and here's my chuck with a quarter-inch hex shaft. Unfortunately, quarter-inch hexagon is not equal to a quarter-inch circle. You can see the wall-to-wall -wall is about quarter-inch, but the point-to-point -point is more like 0.28 inches. So this is a problem because 0.28 inches does not fit in a 0.25 inch collet very well. So the plan is put this through here and have it screw into the chuck. That way I don't have to use the collet at all. And all I'm gonna have to do, I just gotta take this surface down a little bit so that it fits, squeezes through. Sometimes, boys, desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, boys, pretty much it. Prints fresh off the printer. These are gonna make up the crank system that actually drives the motor up and down on the Z-axis. We got a couple skateboard bearings, a lot of 3D printed gears and parts, and then a couple aluminum rod standoffs. Aluminum parts are all drilled, tapped, and ready to go. And as always, we're only using metric hardware. M4, baby, let's go. I think I'm gonna hit you with that build montage, boys.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to use a drill press to make a drill press. That took so long to edit, I managed to even get a haircut. Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Please pound that subscribe button if you wanna see more of this. Leave a comment below, answer your questions. And coming up we got things like a homemade hand drill, desktop CNC, and a robotic Rubik's Cube solver. I'm trying to make videos on those soon. Later boys!